while a long buried secret threatens to unravel both of their families. When Ruby King's mother is found murdered in their home in Chicago's South Side, the police dismiss it as another act of violence in a black neighborhood. But for Ruby, it means she will be living alone with her violent father, the only person who understands the gravity of her situation is Ruby's best friend, Layla. Their closeness is tested when Layla's father, the pastor of their local church, demands Layla stay away. But what are his true motives, and what is the price for turning a blind eye? Oh, this book is raw. It is raw and it gets into the little cuts and, oh, it is just. Is it based on a true story or? I don't believe so. I believe it's all fiction, but I didn't see anything about the author writing from true experience. It's a story about race family secrets, it's faith, and redemption. It is a story that is mainly about friendship. It's The book has a lot of characters. There's Lebanon. He is Ruby King's father, has had a really rough upbringing. He was never wanted by his mother, and so he's a violent person. Ruby is a young girl just trying to get started in life. And Alice was her mother, who was an abused woman. She just suffered in so many ways in this book. Your heart broke reading the first third of this book. It just was so dark. But one of the other characters in this book is the Black Church. We've never been part of the the kind of church that is part of your everyday living. And that is the way the black church was, at least in this book. I know people who they're devoted to their churches. Their whole life revolves around their church. The church suffers from the same pain that all the characters do in the book. It's very, very hard. They're just so many things going on. There was incest, there's abuse, there's murder, there's blackmail, there's, it is just so well done, but it just gets into all those little cuts and little nooks and crannies in a person's soul. When you read this book, you can't walk away from this book and go, oh, that was okay. The story is told from a lot of different characters, but you always know who's talking in the story because their story is unique to how the story is generating. It's, of course, it starts out with the murder of Ruby's mother. Ruby's tale is wound with her father. He's a brutal man. He's proof of what happens when children are denied any kind of love from a mother. Layla who is Ruby's best friend, her mission in life is to save her friend from an abusive father. But then her father is Jackson, and he is the minister of the church. Now, he demands that Layla stay away. But why? He himself is Ruby's father's best friend. I mean, the whole story, it's just woven together in there. The church is is what holds all these people together. The church knows, and the church has secrets of its own, and it's all just wound together, and it's written in a lyrical and clear manner. It is powerful. The author builds the story in a way that it becomes almost human. So the church itself is a separate character in this story. And the friendship between Ruby and Layla is filled with drama. In the end, they only have each other. It's just how they get there. The author is Catherine Adele West, and that is her website, 
Amazon.com. And I would highly recommend this book. I will definitely read whatever she puts out next. She is a powerful, powerful author. Once again, we picked a subject, Black history or Black authors, and it forced us to go outside our comfort zone and find authors that fit this bill. And guess what? We have three new authors that we adore. Definitely. The Black experience that we have no knowledge of. and Exactly. We- but I encourage our listeners to go outside your comfort zone. Before we started this journey, we would go to the bookstore and buy the same authors over and over again. And we loved it. It's not that they weren't enjoyable, but we never realized there's a whole nother world out there. Yes, there is. We know we've only got the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole world out there that we don't know about, and wow. So that's what gives me joy, is the fact that we're discovering these authors that we would have just walked right by their book. To step outside your comfort zone and and find a book that you have never even thought about reading. Trivia. Last week's question is, what is author Tony Hillerman's Navajo name. A. Man with silver pen. B. He who is afraid of his horse. C. He who talks to spirits. Or D. He who writes truth. The answer is B. He who is afraid of his horse. In an interview published in Le Monde, Hillerman said his Navajo name means he who is afraid of his horse. This week's question. Which mystery author appeared on Episode 1, Series 1 of Mythbusters? A. Sharon McComb B. Ellen Hart C. Gillian Flynn or D. Elaine Vietz. Good luck. So there we go. Three new books. Honor of Black History Month. We thank you for listening. We hope you join us next week. And remember, life would be boring without a little mystery. Bye. Bye.